So I've been doing research on um, fronts. Um, fronts are also known as straw man entities. You could sort of say that they're like scarecrows, right? Because the straw man is like a scarecrow. Um, so far, my research has revealed that there are different types of fronts. There are criminal fronts. There are spy fronts, which are the those are the main two. But then there are more unique fronts, disconnected from larger organizations. So you want to pay attention to what you see in the places you go to, the shops you walk into. If you find something, maybe offer an anonymous tip or an anonymous report. But make sure that you actually do it anonymously, off the grid, in case it's a front for the government or another dangerous organization and they don't want you to know about it. You don't want to put yourself in real danger. Um, that's not your job, probably. Um, but ho hopefully this research that I've done will help people more easily identify fronts in the wild so that they can take action to help expose people who are hurting and tormenting and taking advantage of others while simultaneously making their own lives easier or getting something out of it or doing something selfish for themselves. However, seriously, if you make an anonymous report, do it as anonymously as possible. Do not leave a paper or digital trail. Do not leave a paper or digital a digital trail because it could be a front run by your own like government by your own nation or by your own people by your own leaders and you could end up putting yourself in trouble and look I, I can't tell you to do anything that puts yourself in trouble um so it's best if you actually use this to avoid danger but i think you also sort of have to put an anonymous tip in I, I think you have to think it's like if you don't if you find something you don't say anything I think you'll be an accessory uh, I think when it comes to fronts though you should be okay on that if you don't say or do anything because it's a little different and it's not always easy to prove if something's a front and it's not always and they may it might not always be a front so that's why if you do put in an anonymous tip you know, make sure it's as anonymous as possible. Don't you like use your own phone or your computer, or if you do, make sure you have proper security like VPNs and stuff. Because if you're putting in a report to say the FBI, but it's an FBI front, they're gonna want to know who's trying to uh, expose their fronts, right? <laughs> so make sure if you put it in an anonymous report do it truly anonymously as anonymous as you can okay so criminal fronts probably make up the largest percentage of fronts they may often also be overlapping as spy fronts these fronts often have non-intangible products or services such as haircuts or massages it's much easier for the ownership to lie about how many products are sold this way because they don't have to order products it's more difficult to keep track of the, the uh, sorry, because they don't have to order products, it's more difficult to keep track of the legitimacy of the business. They can lie and claim that they have served, you know, X number of customers, while only really serving maybe a fourth of that. Pretty nice, eh? Maybe put some video games in the back room or sit on a laptop all day. Do nothing but relax, enjoy yourself, make a decent wage while competing businesses work themselves to the bone and try to try and make the same kind of decent life for themselves. Sometimes criminal organizations can have products as well. Then it's all about how many people they served and how much those products cost. So if they have a huge profit margin and they don't actually serve a lot of customers, like who would want to pay that much anyway? But all of their inventory is still burned through and they still make tons of cash. I suppose 